Welcome back to MCB Chem Tube Online Chemistry Tutorial. So we were discussing reactions of carbonyl compounds. Today I will discuss to you about managed reaction. Managed reaction is reaction of ionizable carbonyl compound that is aldehyde or ketone which react with a mixture of aldehyde, preferably formaldehyde and tamine, primary or secondary amine, secondary is better one, in the presence of catalytic amount of hydrogen chloride to form amino ketone. This is the general reaction. And coming to the specific example, acetone react with the formaldehyde and diethylamine and it gives a beta amino ketone. This is called managed base. And second example, cyclohexanone with this mixture of compound, it form a amino ketone. And coming to the mechanism, actually preliminary formation of the, this reaction is the imine salt formation. And when you have a mixture of these three compounds, this nucleophile dimethylamine prefer to attack formaldehyde other than this carbonyl compound because formaldehyde is more nucleophilic. And in this reaction, no acid is required and it forms an intermediate like this and it undergo an a transfer of hydrogen from here to oxy compound. It forms a compound like this. Then on protonation, in the presence of acid, acid is required here. It dehydrate. It helps to dehydrate. First, it protonate this OH. Then it dehydrate like this. Then it form a main salt. Then second step of the mechanism is cyclohexanone. In the presence of acid, it form an enol like this. Then this enol react with this imine salt and it form and manage base like this. So a widely employed preformed salt, which is commercially commercially available, one is called Asian Moses salt. And this in this salt is commercially available. This can be prepared like this scheme. And mechanism of this preparation is like this. First, a nucleophilic substitution occurs and elimination occurs here and it forms managed salt. And in this case, no acid is required for the formation of this managed salt, aluminium salt. And this advantage of this aluminium salt is even compound with moderately uh, enolic can also be react. For example, in this case, this compound, it you can see here only less formation of phenol, and this can react with this aluminium salt and form this final compound. So I'm giving two problem. You have to do this problem and write the mechanism. This pause this presentation and do it, and finally check whether you are getting this product. First case, this one, and the second case you will be getting. Uh, here you have two managed reaction take place because you have two more moles of formaldehyde you are taking, and there is an two attacking ionizable carbon here, so it can form two two uh, reaction managed reaction. So next we are uh, checking what are the structural requisites of managed reaction. We are considering amine first. And what, what is the preferable amine? If you are using primary amine or ammonia, what happened to this managed reaction? If you are using primary amine, for example, it form a compound like this, a primary amine will be formed. Again, this primary amine can act as an, can form managed base with formaldehyde. 
then it again can react with this ketone and form a uh, two managed reaction can undergo primary amine. And if you're uh, next using ammonia, definitely it forms first primary amine base, managed base, then it further react, it forms secondary amine. Again, it can react, a uh, this structure can be formed. So the best main is secondary amine. Next, we will consider ionizable part. First case, aldehyde. If you are using aldehyde with a mixture of secondary amine and formaldehyde, you get this compound. Definitely, the react the product will contain uh, additionally CH2 NME2, and this CH2 NME2 will form a bond with ionizable carbon. This is the ionizable carbon here. And if you are uh, using ketone, what happens? If you are using ketone, this is the ionizable carbon. This form bond with manage aluminium salt and form a bond here. And it forms CH2NME2 here. Next one, beta dibasic acid. Or you can use either cyano or keto acid here. Here, this is the ionizable carbon. And this inalizable carbon can react with the aluminium salt and it forms a structure like this. Next example, phenol. Phenol, this is like uh, an enol part, enol part and this can react with the aluminium salt and it forms a product like this. Next one, heterocyclic compound like furan, pyrrole, intol and its derivative. If you consider intol here, intol react with aluminium salt and it form a compound, well-known compound, gramine. This is a structure of gramine. And here, uh, this part, this carbon is nucleophilic carbon because this lone pair push the electron here and bond break here. This can start bond with aluminium salt and a structure product will be formed like this. Next one, phenylacetylene. And phenylacetylene uh, can react with aluminium salt and it form a product like this. So we are considering, considered in this slide various uh, type of phenylacetylene part. And synth uh, uh, synthetic application of managed reaction and it is very important in drug synthesis because we are using amino ketone. And this amino ketone can be used to make enol, that is alpha beta unsaturated compound. How to do that? This is the managed base. This managed base on alkylation with methyl adate. This is dimethyl amine. This can alkylate. It is an acento reaction and it forms a cotonized salt, cotonized compound, and in the presence of base, this cotonized salt can undergo even CD elimination. This is exactly like uh, we have seen in aldol reaction, dehydration of aldol reaction, final step. And this acidic hydrogen get removed and finally, this NME3, this part, get eliminated even C by a mechanism called even CB, and it forms a compound like this. This is actually hexomethylene compound. This is hexomethylene compound. And in this case, if you are using secondary, um, secondary amine, this is less volatile you cannot be easily kick off that secondary amine. So always better be used pyro, either pyrrolidine or piperidine. This secondary amine can be used instead of this NME2. For example, in acetophenol, if you are using this pyrrolidine and you get the managed base, this finally on alkylation and with base, you get an eliminated product. This is enol. And uh, uh, applications of these enones, one is 
you can make high stomata of ketone. For example, this ketone you are studying with this uh, ketone undergo this ketone undergo managed reaction. When first you get enone, beta enone, you can reduce this beta enone and form a compound like this. So in effect, you are you are getting an homologue of ketone. One CH3, you get extra here. Then stratomedia. Another synthetic uh, use of this butanone is you can use in uh, a ring extension reaction, for example, Robinson's ring extension reaction. In this case, you first you get beta anon, and this beta anon, on reacting with this compound, cyclic ketone, it can undergo a Michael addition. This is the inoxidable carbon. This can undergo a Michael addition. Preferably, it added to one fourth position, one, two, three, four, fourth position, and it forms a compound like this. Then it can undergo an aldol type reaction, intramolecular aldol condensation, and it forms a product like this. And here. You can prefer to purchase this compound commercially. It is a commercially available. But problem with this compound, this is uh, this ketone can undergo polymerization. So advantage of managed basis, you can generate in situ in reaction this beta ketone. So problem of polymerization can be avoided. Next application, you can replace beta amino group with some other functional group. So managed basis like an uh, infrared aromatic system like benzene and inter or benzylic type can undergo a sensu display, a displacement. And for example, heteroxine synthesis. From gramine, you can make heteroxine. In this reaction, uh, first you methylate this compound and form a quaternized salt. This quaternized salt can be replaced by cyano, very strong nucleophile. Then you get a cyano compound here. This cyano on hydrolysis, it get a carboxylic acid. It is called hydroxyl. And next one, tryptophan synthesis. And you can replace this amino group by acetamidomalonic ester, nucleophile can act as a nucleophile. Acetamidomalonic ester, this compound in the presence of base, it forms an anion structure, and this can act as a nucleophile. Like in previous case, we used cyano as a nucleophile for replacing dimethylamine, trimethylamine. So this nucleophile can react with this, this compound, vitamino compound, and this can replace this amine and it form a compound like this. And this on hydrolysis by using base and so finally acidification, you get uh, this get hydrolyzed, this also get hydrolyzed and decarboxylated, and this get uh, finally uh, hydrolyzed to give an acid. This is an important alpha amino acid which is in, well, in protein, in tryptophan. And this can also be used for making alkaloid synthesis. And here, in uh, Robinson synthesis of tropinone for making a tropin. And here you can see, you are studying with this compound. Here, it can undergo a two-managed reaction and form a compound structure like this. And uh, this form a managed base, then analyzable pattern attack, then form a uh, structure intermediate like this. This on hydrolysis and decarboxylation, you get tropinone, and this tropinone on reduction, you get a compound like this. Then this can be a ester fat, a tropin, for a, and make an atropine. And similarly, you can synthesize cocaine also. So that is the uh, alkaloid synthesis application. Cocaine can also be done in like in previous slide, uh, we have seen two, it can undergo two managed reaction. Then it form a compound like this. This on reduction and benzoylation, you get cocaine. That's all. Thank you for watching.